On Sunday for lunch, we checked out a new restaurant in town called The Famous. It's right off the highway next to the outlet mall. The building has been there for a long time, but this summer the new owners opened up shop. It was a really great restaurant, the food was really good, and the atmosphere was really nice as well. My only concern is that it wasn't very full, so we thought we'd do our part and advertise that it's open, and it's really good. My next, second book of the year, The Genesis of Seven by Sarah M. Schaller. And it was a book about a young man who grew up in an orphanage. And um, the turn of events has him being chased by some random people that are kind of freaky. And from there, he ends up um, getting sent to a skyscraper where he meets an angel. And... The adventures they go on to try and and figure out why he got sent to them is pretty interesting. Um, I wasn't wild about it, partially because as a Christian, the theology of it kind of bugged me. Um, but once I could kind of get past that, I got into the story. The other part that was a little strange was um, the dialogue was a little stilted, especially coming from the angels. I think she was trying to give them a more formal voice and it was just a little bit hard to read. Um, overall, it was okay and toward the end I started to get into it enough that I might read the next book, but probably not in the next couple weeks. We'll see which book I finish next. On Tuesday nights, we've been watching the new Percy Jackson show on Disney Plus along with our kids. The rest of the family has of course read the books, but I'm really enjoying the story as well. School is back in session, so on Wednesday I took my Coding 1 students through my History of Computer Science exercise. They have to match up various famous computers with the people who created them in the year that they were made. I finished my first nonfiction book of the year. I started it back in 2023. It was called Free of Me by Sharon Hade Miller, and it was great. Um, it was really painful and hard, but um, a great book to kind of take me through um, how to reset my focus. And I would recommend it. I think it's a good one. If you're looking for a way to stop being a little self-absorbed and look for ways that you can care for others, then this would be a great book for you. Grilling steaks when it's 8 degrees outside. Can't beat it. Turned out really good. This week I read uh, Hotel Manifique by Emily J. Taylor. And I read it on Libby. So I don't have it to show you. Hotel Manifique was a reread for me. I read it a second time for um, my book club. And I wasn't that excited to reread it. And I think partially because um, it had been compared to one of my favorite books. And when I read it the first time, I was just like, this is not Caraval. And so I just kind of had a bad attitude about it. But I really did like it. And on reread, I really felt like I could appreciate the book for what it was. And I enjoyed it more. It was about two sisters and they're going to a to this hotel to get a job. They're, they've been orphaned already. The younger sister's maybe 13 and a great singer and the older sister's maybe 17 or 18. They're just looking for a job and this is this amazing magical hotel and the minute they get there, they start to realize there is kind of something else going on. It doesn't, it's definitely fantasy. It does kind of edge on horror for a little while, but for the most part, um, I would highly recommend it. It was a great book. And so, Hotel Manifique. <laughs>